Hello, everyone. It is Pyra. And so the first thing I'm going to say before kind of doing this intro is you might see that the beginning of this video is very different than the end. And the reason why is that TLDR, I recorded a live stream of me going through all the ultimate weapons and ranking them. And so I recorded this back maybe a month and a half ago. And for some reason, I completely lost part of the footage. So I'm just going to re-record my, my thoughts and reactions to the few weapons that I did not have. So you'll notice partway through the video, it's going to change. It's just, unfortunately, I did lose some of that footage. Fortunately, however, though, it's kind of perfect timing because that video was recorded sometime in like December started to because I kind of like streamed everything at once. That was about the time that I started doing uwu and progging on uwu. And so I wanted to go through the ultimate weapons as of last week. I have my uwu clear. I am now an ultimate legend. So the next journey on our ultimate rating progression is for T, the Epic of Alexander. So what other perfect time to look at T weapons than right when we're about to go into T. So let's check them out. So for the purposes of saving time <laughs> and not redoing the whole team ranker that I had made, um, Here's a quick picture. Here's a quick preview of my favorites from S to D. Um, we will, I'm going to base everything kind of based on what I had ranked it. I'm sure it'll be the same thoughts twice around. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look. So the first one on the list here is Paladin with the ultimate Almas. I'm going to try on both the sword and shield together. I think that makes the most amount of sense. Um, put some clothing on. I think this is cool. Like this is this is pretty badass for for Paladin, uh, sword and shield. I don't think it's anything like super unique and out of the or ordinary, but I think it's pretty solid. Nothing really bad to say about it. It's definitely not my favorite. I don't think, but I would like. I would absolutely flex this. Yeah, they they both look really good together. I one thing that you're probably going to hear me say like time and time again is like the effects for the T weapons are just so nice. I love the effects. So like automatically right there, that's like super green flag. It looks great. Let me see when it folds up. It's a little, it's a little bulkier than I like personally. So I believe, I believe I had actually ranked this uh, A rank, which fits. Yeah, I put this in A. I think it's a great weapon set. Um, I would definitely wear it if I got enough totems. Uh, yeah, pretty solid. So for the next one, we are going to look at the ultimate. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to say that. Ukon Vasara. Ukon Vasara. I, I don't love this one, honestly. There's just something weird and wiggy with like, I know you can't see my cursor, but like the blade portion to me, I don't really like it. It just feels like, not like it's a fantasy game, right? Like I don't feel like you have to have everything like make sense. But in this case, it's like the blade just doesn't make sense to me. And it's like super, super like thin where like the handle connects to the, the blade. And I don't know, it's, it's not my favorite. Let's see when it's sheathed. I just feel like there's so many better warrior weapons out there that when I look at this, I'm like, meh, it's, 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 it's okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't love it. Like, honestly, I'm probably not going to get this. Um, let me see what I had actually ranked it at before. Yeah, I ranked it at a C. It's fine. Like, I don't think it's bad per se. It's just it's okay. It's fine. I'm I'm probably not going to get it, but you know, it's all right. It's okay. Now on to Dark Knight. So Dark Knight is the nothing, the nothing, the ultimate nothing, nothing. Um, this one's pretty cool. Like, honestly, I love a lot of Dark Knight weapons. This one's really cool. I, I enjoy this one. Um, the one thing that's kind of weird, though, is like the handle portion up here. I don't love as much like the little chunky part, like kind of where my head is. Um, let's see it sheathed. The effects are still really cool. It is huge. I can't even get that in full screen there. Oh, no, really good. I like it. Let's see what I ranked it before. Let's see. Boom. Yep. A. A rank. It's great. I think it's really good. Um, I would definitely get this. It's maybe not one of my top choices, but I still think it's a really solid weapon. Like if you're a Dark Knight, I'd totally be rocking that if I were a Dark Knight. So very nice. Very nice indeed. 
And now we cannot forget about our lovely Gunbreaker, the ultimate anarchy. We finally get some Gunbreaker weapons in here. The design by itself, like pre uh, effects, very simple, almost too simple for me. Like I kind of like that, like in between zone, like if it's going to be super big and obnoxious, like I want it to be like more of like a meme. Um, but this one feels like way too simple, kind of like on the other end of things. Let's see it sheathed. There's honestly not as much effects as I would have anticipated to. So like, oh no, I think it's kind of middle of the road. I think it's fine. Good. Let's see what I ranked it at. Good. Yeah, B good. I think it's good. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just, it's underwhelming. Like I'm not, I'm not like, hell yeah, this is my weapon. Like it's, it's, it's fine. It's good. It is, it's a weapon. You like, you can definitely tell it's an ultimate weapon, but I almost want a little bit more pizzazz. Like a tiny bit more pizzazz would be nice. And so the last one that I am re-recording here, and then you'll you'll see Pyra from a couple months ago, is the Dragoon weapon, the ultimate. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to say that. Rongomiant. Rongomiant. The Dragoon weapon. So let's see. Honestly, I dig this weapon a lot. I think it's really cool the base weapon by itself with like the little the little swirly bits up here you're kind of getting like dragon wings and like a dragon head vibe with the coloring i love it i think it's a really good dragoon weapon a dragoon spear um let's see it sheathed yeah i love it it's cool it could use maybe a tiny ounce of extra pizzazz but i'm i i dig it like i definitely will want to get this in my repertoire um Let's see what I had ranked it before. Yep, S need it. I agree with that. Um, it's just a good weapon. Like, I, I'm i going to kind of sound a little bit of a hypocrite, but it's like I, I do walk that line where it's like I either want things to be like a little bit more, or a little bit less, like somewhere in between kind of. Um, usually a lot of like the head of the spears and dragoon weapons are like big and bulbous. This isn't, but it's like it's that nice like right in the middle line for me. And with like the dragon wing and like the dragon head, like it feels very like dragon dragoon. I really enjoy this. S rank for sure, for sure. And so the next one here is the ultimate Vera Thrag Thragna. I cannot pronounce these to save my life. The Monk Fists! Um, and I already know what I voted for this. I don't like these at all. They make a lot of these Monk Fists like very blocky. These look like toasters. Like you're just taking two toaster ovens on your hands. I don't like it. Um, I believe I ranked this last and I did. This is just not good in my opinion. Um, really don't like them the base weapons or with the effects the effects don't even save it like closed the shore fine opened nah nah eh, no not digging it yeah i don't think i've seen a single monk weapon that's made me happy um and these are no exception these are awful sorry sorry monks uh it's a d for me it's a d and now this is everything that was lost in the initial footage. You're going to see me in just a second go over the rest of the weapons. Okay, so the next one is going to be Samurai. The Honbami. Honibami. So this one right off the rip. Oops, I keep doing the wrong thing. Um, are those, is that like a jagged blade or is that just the effect? Oh my gosh. Stop wiggling. It's kind of jagged, right? It's hard to tell. Um, it's like jagged in a weird way. I don't know if I love it or hate it though, like that. Let me let me sheath it. Um I wanna know why it looks almost like dragon-esque. Cause like that doesn't remind me of T. I'm gonna pull up the list. I think it's good. Yeah, I feel confident with good. Um kind of middle of the road. I think it's okay it's okay it's good i think it's a little bit better than a fine like i don't i don't hate it necessarily i just i don't think i would go out of my way for it so it's good we're just gonna leave it at good all right so after samurai we have the ninja weapons ninja swords these ones do these have like a second blade to them like a little they do they kind of have these like cutouts 
I don't know how I feel about them. They're definitely the best ninja weapons I've seen so far of the Ultimates. Um, I will give them that. Like, they feel... They feel like pretty cool weapons, honestly. I, I was bothered more by the, the blade at first, but I think I'm... I don't want to say I'm falling in love with it, but I'm accepting them a little bit more the more I look at them. Um, yeah, I think they're pretty good. They might go in the same category as the as a samurai weapon. Like, I think it's good. Um, yeah, I feel confident with that. We're, we're going to say good. Um, so next, next we have Bard, the ultimate Gandiva. Gandiva? I, I still love this base Bard weapon. Quite honestly, I love the little the little arrow hostel eh, arrow holster. Um, I think it's cute. It's got this like harp vibe, but it's like a giant harp. Um, almost looks like it's like a stand that you could like put the harp down. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Like for bird weapons, I think I think it's one of the cooler ones I've seen. I'm gonna say need it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, here we go. Need it. I'd like it. It's pretty cool. After that, we go into more Fizz Range territory and we have Machinist. So this one, I have a weird feeling with like these three barrels. I don't know how I feel about the three barrels. Overall, though, like unlike some of the other ones I've seen, it, it the weight feels fine. Like it is a pretty bulky Machinist weapon, but like... It feels kind of cool, and then when you when you sheath it, just the the little like cock and turning, I love that. Like it's kind of like that added little touch that I think really helps with this weapon. Um, still, Yoshi P, Squeenix, someone, please make the lunchbox the same theme as the weapon. All of our lunchboxes, these guys, this thing, all of these are just basic, and you have other classes that have. This little like side part to the weapon that are like that match the theme. Why can't we do it for machinists? I want more. I want more from you. So I still really want this. I'm gonna put this in need it because honestly, the more I see this, the more I'm like, this might be the one that I really want for machinist weapon. Um, but that's my like one big criticism is please, please give us. Give us a lunchbox that's glowy. That's all I ask for now. <laughs> that's all I ask. Do, do, do. We go for Machinist 2. Morphous range. Dancer. First dancer weapons. Um, dancer weapons are hard. to. It's kind of like Astro. It is very hard to have a bad dancer weapon. Um, these ones are pretty cool. I usually like more of the kind of like circular ones and like the spikes. I think they don't do it for me just like that. Like I still think they're pretty cool, but... Um, I do love the two-tone colors with, like, the cross and, like, almost the, the circular pattern. Um, I think they look really cool sheathed. <sighs> do I want to put another one and need it so soon? I think I do. I do. Like, I really like these dancer weapons. Love it. Need it. So next, we're going to my main, Black Mage. What is it called? He Hevergelmir? Vergelmir? I don't know why I put almost like a, a southern accent like Vergelmir. I don't know. But this black mage weapon. Um, it is a different one, right? Like, even back the first time I saw the space model weapon, like I'm in that weird boat of like, I don't know if I love it or hate it. I, I don't know. But when it's sheathed, I love seeing all the I love the effect. I wish, kind of like the Ukov weapon, like, I want it to be bigger, a little bit more bulkier at the top of the staff. Um, so quite honestly, as usual, Black Mage weapon will be the first thing that I get. But I don't think this is going to make it to the S rank for me. I think it's a great weapon. I think it's B. Um, I think it's great. I don't think it's like... I don't think it's like top tier though. Grab that one. Where'd it go? Yeah, I think I think it's gonna fit in the great. And like I said, I will still be getting that weapon first just because uh gotta catch them all for Black Mage, but it is making its way to A. 
Uh, next one. Next one, we have a summoner book. So this is the ultimate Draco... Draconomicon? Draconomicon? I think. Um, Close. It looks pretty neat. Pretty, pretty cool. I love that little dragon. Hold up. That's cool. That is cool so far. Let's see it when it's opened up. Oops, zoomed in way too far. Oh, that's cute. With the little dragon, with the gem. That's adorable. Stop. And like the crystal this time on top, like I don't, it's not super big and bulgy. So I like that. Um, love this side too. This one I think is going to get an S for me. I am obsessed. I am obsessed with this little dragon, like this little wyvern. This is cute. And then it almost looks like a diamond being like, you know, like a diamond ring, but with the, the dragon. Um, I like it. It's cute. It's gonna get an S from me. So the next one is another ranged, cast a range, the Vorpal Sword for Red Mage. So clothes, like this is like a small, small little thing over here. And the sword, I don't, what is up with the tip of that sword? It almost looks like it's like hot metal a little bit. Um, let's see what it looks like sheathed. So the particle effects make this look really cool, right? But the weapon itself, I don't think, is that that interesting. Like, it's kind of plain, and the effects just make it, like, really cool. But let's see this open from the back. It's fine. I think it's fine. Like, like I said, I think the particle effects are the only thing that saves this weapon. Um, with that being said, with that being said, I think it's just gonna... It's just... Ah. I'm going to give it a C, honestly. Um, it's just fine. I don't hate it completely, but it lacks a lot. Like, it's not that interesting to look at, quite honestly. Moving through the list, now we're going to our healers. The Majestas. The ultimate Majestas. Uh, this is our White Mage weapon. Kind of having the same syndrome as Black Mage weapon. I think just this top part is, is so small. It is, it is very kind of dainty feeling. I do like the ornamentation though. I think it looks really cool. Um, I just wish it were a little, a little more something. Um, sheathed, let's see. That's fucking cool, sheathed. Like the, it is very hard to like actually hate any of these because of the, the effects that it has. Um, but it is, it's pretty cool. Does this part open up? Uh, no, it's, it's kind of already opened up. It almost looks like a, like an egg. <laughs> so it looks pretty cool. I'm going to say, what am I going to say? Where are we going with this? I'm going to say great. It kind of fits in like next to the Black Mage one for me. Like I, I think this is a solid weapon. Definitely not my favorite White Mage weapon, but I like it. It's great. This is funny. Tetra Biblos? Yeah. Ultimate Tetra Biblos. Blah, blah, blah. Ultra, blah, blah, blah. Tetra Biblos. Um, this one looks almost exactly like the, the Ukav or the Uu one. Like, it's... Why is it, like, the same? So, like, negative points on creativity because I feel like this looks almost exactly like what we have. Maybe with a little bit more leather strap. Um, especially after seeing the Summoner book. And now I'm seeing this and I, I'm, I'm left missing something. Like, the... The the particle effects and stuff are like great. I think that's the only thing that's making me love this and not meh. So I think quite honestly, this is fine. This is going into the fine category. It, it's got the same syndrome as the warrior weapon and the red mage weapon where it's just I I expected more and I want more from this. And it, I don't hate it. I don't hate it by any means, but I just it needs a little more oomph. A little more pizzazz, and I, I don't see that pizzazz. I want the pizzazz. Give me the pizzazz. So the last one that we have for T is the ultimate Deneb. Deneb? Deneb, Deneb, Deneb. Um, Astro Globe. Uh, love it. <laughs> I don't think there's a single Astro Globe that I don't love from the ultimate weapons or the, uh, the ultimate fights. Um... Pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. 
there's not even much that I can say about this. I am always going to love the kind of like celestial, you know, uh, astrology vibes. Um, this brings that and the particle effects, I think, just complement it so well. Um, kind of a basic answer, but I'm okay with that. Like, I, I like it. I appreciate it. I love it. I want it. And it is going to go into need it. And we have, I have a lot more need it than I was expecting, but also not because I do love, I do love the steampunk kind of cog wheels. And I just think, I just think T weapons are what I'm going to want the most, honestly, of like all the ultimate fights. I think I'm going to want to do just T all the time, quite honestly. So this is what I have for ranking. Let's see. Dragoon, Bard, Machinist, Astro. Whoops, Astro over here. Dancer, Summoner. I think those are absolutely my favorites. If I had to pick a favorite, I can't believe I'm saying this. That Summoner book. That Summoner book really caught me off guard. Um, I don't play Summoner. And as most people know, I want to delete Summoner from the game. But besides that... um. I just, I, I think this is the best weapon that I've seen from this. I will not get over this little dragon guy. It's, he's too cute. It's too cute. Like this is, this is the type of vibes that I want to see for ultimate weapon. Um, it's just nice. It's great. It's extra. I love it. It looks good. It's probably my favorite. All right, friends. Well, I also forgot to record an outro <laughs> in the initial video. I was also live streaming, so kind of like packed a few videos into one. But thank you so much for watching my ranking of all of the weapons from T. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Or do you know, am I crazy? Probably. But tell me below. Let me know what what weapons are your favorite. I would love to hear. Um, as I speak, we will be starting some T, the Epic of Alexander rating, starting next week. So I've already kind of like dipped my toe into Living Liquid Prog, but ultimately we're going in fresh. So if you want to see fresh prog memes, failures, hopefully some progression, come check out the stream. I stream live on Twitch and YouTube six, at least six days a week, sometimes more. I'm a little crazy. So um, at least... Two of those days will be ultimates. So follow YouTube, follow Twitch, follow Twitter and Instagram, everything for all the socials to keep up with my schedule. Join the Discord. We have a really cool community. And uh, yeah, as time goes on, I'm getting obsessed with ultimates. And the more obsession I get, the more I will be doing videos like these and also be rating ultimates. So thanks for hanging out. We will see you in game and have a good one. Bye. Tales of love